Hello, welcome to today's PowerPoint on gene therapy. So, what is gene therapy? Gene therapy is the introduction of normal genes into cells in place of missing or defective ones. And this involves using various mechanisms to alter a person's genetic material to either treat or cure different diseases. Um, so in terms of gene therapy, the chance of gene therapy being able to replace faulty genes or in some new genes are growing due to the development of technologies and science. And experimental techniques are also being used to treat and research treatments for different genetic diseases and disorders such as, I'm not going to say that, SCID and other diseases. Um, however, most gene therapies are still in the clinical stages. Um, this is because scientists are having a lot of difficulty finding suitable delivery systems that can transfer normal animals into people's cells, as well as how to ensure the genes correctly expressed and not like, you know, at risk of mutation. Okay. The types of delivery systems. There are two types that we currently have using vectors. So you have viruses, so for example, retroviruses or lentiviruses, and these are the most common forms of vectors to deliver the genetic material into the cells. And then we have non-viral vectors, for example, liposomes and naked DNA. Types of gene therapy then. First one, somatic gene therapy. So somatic gene therapy refers to body cells, um, which are somatic cells. So changes in genetic material are targeted to specific cells, and so will not be inherited by future generations as somatic gene therapy does not target the gametes itself. Gametes, also known as sex cells, which is where embryos come from. And often the effects of changing the somatic cells are temporary. Now, the two types of somatic gene therapy, you have ex vivo and in vivo. In terms of ex vivo, the new gene is usually inserted outside of the body and then inserted back into the body. And in vivo, the new gene is inserted via a vector into cells inside the body. Right. And about somatic gene therapy, uh, there is the potential for new genetic material to be inserted into germ cells, cells involved in sexual reproduction, like gametes. Uh, however, this is illegal in humans. So currently, it's being tested on animals. And then if that's successful, they will test on humans. Now, the other type of gene therapy is germline gene therapy. This is when DNA is transferred into the cells that produce reproductive cells, which are eggs or sperm cells, inside the body. Now, this type of therapy allows for the, cor the correction of disease-causing gene variants that are certain to be passed down from generation to generation. So this is long-term and affects future generations as well, whereas somatic gene therapy does not affect future, future generations. Now, germline gene therapy is quite controversial. So one, it could spare genera future generations of family from having a particular genetic disease or disorder. It might affect the development of a fetus or in unexpected ways, also affecting fertility. And the effects of these are currently unknown. So it's still a bit of a gray area in science. And since people who would have been affected by germline gene therapy are not yet born, obviously there's no consent. They cannot give consent whether they want this to happen or not. So yeah, um, because of these ethical concerns, the UK and US governments and a few others have, they do not allow funds to go into germline gene therapy, so it's actually legal. Um, okay. Now, the many ethical concerns, um, so these are a few of them that are associated with gene therapy, or how can good and bad uses of these technologies be distinguished? Because obviously, as there's a lot of technology involved and like very high tech, there are a lot of applications for this, and we do not know what purposes the people would like to use it for. Um, who decides which traits are normal and which constitute a disability or disorder? Now, about this one, you could say with this question, people would try to assume the role of God in a way, because they're deciding which genes are good and bad. And, yep, it's about the cost, how it will be most likely only available to those of higher classes, rich people who can afford high-tech genes like these. And should people be 
allowed to use gene therapy to enhance basic human traits of height, intelligence, or athletic ability. So basically, they can very select in future generations. Now, the pose of gene therapy. Like a couple. It is a very good source of hope in terms of genetic diseases, both curing them and treating them. Uh, chronic illnesses as well. And the issue with these diseases, obviously, is that they cause a lot of mental as well as physical pain for the patients, their friends, their families, and they can be life lost. So the gene therapy is a hope to fix that. Um, the effects of gene therapy are long lasting and timeless. So gene therapy is a one off treatment, so you don't need to have like, you know, continuous injections and things. And it will leave you symptom free for the rest of your life. And furthermore, gene therapy is not only a remedy for one individual, but it covers all future generations as well, unless, of course, an erosion or a mutation. And gene therapy can eradic eradicate diseases and improve the overall quality of life for millions of people with different, both severe and slightly less severe genetic diseases. However, there are a lot of, quite a few cons of gene therapy. There is no guarantee that the promised effects will actually happen. And it can go wrong. Because since it's still in its developmental stages and clinical stages, and a lot is not known about it, like for example the effects on embryos and things, it is a very big risk. Also, it is a very costly treatment option. Obviously, not a lot of people are going to be able to afford that. And that does raise issues in healthcare. So people, I guess only people with like higher class in private healthcare will be able to afford that. Meanwhile, people in public healthcare, like the NHS, will not be able to. And these people obviously will still be suffering quite a lot. And um, there's also a potential for developing resistance, right? Because yeah, there's no guarantee that the therapy will fulfill its expectations, and there's also no guarantee that it will not in result in any new defect or mutation resulting in potential new diseases either. Um, do you think that like gene therapy can lead to designer babies, and if so, what should is that ethical? Like, do you agree with that? Like, should we be able to change people's eye color, height, gender, or um, should there be regulations in place, or should it only be for some people and not for other people? Okay. Uh, yes, it does have potential to do that, and yes, I think we should have regulations in place set by the UK government, obviously a guideline of the ethics and the ways to use it because obviously this is very powerful technology and you obviously can't use it without any guidance so yes, they should have some regulation in place. What, like, what things would you consider allowed in designer babies? I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I personally don't think that we should be allowed to create designer babies because when you do that, you do reduce the gene pool, right? Because okay. you're selecting specific genes and also inserting new ones. So I don't think we should be allowed to create design babies. Unless of course there's the issue with like really severe genetic diseases or hereditary conditions. Otherwise no, they should not have design babies. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was a scientist who um, designed twin babies um, to be immune to HIV. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts? Do you think that was the right option to do that? Or do you think that was completely wrong? Or is this the germline therapy as well? In terms, because it was to be immune to HIV, I suppose, yes, that was a good idea. Because obviously it's treating the disease, and HIV leads to AIDS, that obviously kills people. So it's a good step in eradicating that disease. I would agree with that. 